Good evening. <sighs> Overall thoughts on the match, how the team performed? Especially with the national team away. I think the individual um, commitment, resilience to to using all their energy. It's something that we talked about throughout the whole week, their effort and their energy, the tank. We've been building their tank for three months, some of them, to, for this opportunity, and, and we got to empty it tonight and leave everything out there. And I think they, uh, they did that. Um, it was a great, great performance all round from a lot of people that were committed to um, to a strategy that, that we uh, you know we had a week to, to put that together and implement um, and they think they did that very very well there's obviously a, a few moments where I thought Seattle had a couple of half chances and the stats show show 11 shots but there was a couple that I was a bit worried about and then I felt like there was three or four I was really excited about for us I think we we won the quality chance game which is pretty unbelievable um, with the circumstances and the strategy we took up because we wanted to, you know, we played, um, we played very defensive, minimising, getting caught in transition and minimising spaces between. When you do that, it's harder to then get into attacking shape or attacking positions because the tight shape you're in to then get big and up the pitch. But we still managed to do that a few times. So uh, in incredibly proud, probably the, the proudest night that I've been at the club so far. How is Michelle Vados? You watched the same game. I thought she was freaking incredible. How, how is she now? She's great. She's fine. Can you tell me a little bit about what her she had trainers coming out. Mm -hmm. like I think that I think she... I think there was a few times where she probably felt uh, some I say pain. It's not pain. I keep asking her how's the pain. She says there's no pain. There's just some awkwardness there. It's never been um, a pain thing. It's more a reaction because it was nerve. And we look at how she moved around that goal. Her reactions were were fantastic. Would you say the clean sheet then is a bit of a victory for her? Yeah, for her and and all that that back f that back four plus her and everybody else, it's it's so good to have you know have Mish back after an injury. We've got we've got Kendall and Cat that are working back, and also a non-contract player Sam Lofton. We're excited to get anyone back and to see them perform that well, which isn't a surprise for Mish because her focus and and preparation to get ready is is very good. Coach, you mentioned your game plan a couple of times. Can you tell us how the game plan today differed from the game plan two weeks ago at Memorial as far as what you were trying to accomplish? Yeah, at Memorial we, um, we wanted to open up and commit bodies and try and overload certain areas to build our attacks. Tonight there's no way we wanted to move. There's some players that we didn't want to move at all because of transition and you saw that. Uh, 20, 25 minutes to go, people started leaving their pockets that we were in up from our defensive shape to help us attack and the crowd would go in and and then when they won it, their best chances came from that and then they zoomed into a pocket, Kim Little or Fishlock got on the turn, faced up in front of the back four, which is, is what we wanted to minimise all night. Um, so it's different because we didn't commit those bodies, we didn't want them to leave pockets and holes um, to make sure they can't counter us and I felt like tonight was the only only way they could get a real chance was from countering um, and that's because our defensive shape and organization was going to be good but they haven't Seattle have failed to break teams down and and move players and get people out of the pockets they want to be in um, so it's just limiting their transition which any team when they're in a good place or bad place any team can transition well uh, so we, we less bodies moving their defensive shape um, and also our engagement line, how we, where we pressed, it was with momentum of the game. Sometimes you saw us pressing on the 18, other times we're on the halfway line, and there's different ways that we manage the momentum and, and when and where we, we push our uh, pressing line. How did your halftime substitutions play to that? What were you seeing that caused you to make that? Difference? Well, Sink was supposed to only play 25. She, she had a little bit of a strain during this week. Um, we were fully ready to go at 25 and she, she's screaming at me that she was fine and then we grabbed her again and said no it's, I know you're fine and, and, and you want to be fine but how are you feeling is there any pain any pain at all and there wasn't so we pushed to half time um, to get 
Berryhill in there in centre midfield next to Celeste to help us battle a bit more. Marner done an incredible job, but released Marna into the number ten. And then I felt I felt she did a great job in there, but those those twenty minutes after the half, we suddenly become a little bit more disconnected. I wanted to get and it was all about getting Dagny back because she's had a lot of video and a lot of training and information about that. Um, I needed someone, you know, more experienced, so we, we quickly changed it to push Berryhill up and then there was always a plan to get Sade up high in the front line as you saw she's explosive she can create danger and she almost did a few times uh, so yeah that was um, that was the thinking Coach taking into account the fact you have six starters basically missing today is a draw good enough for you? Keeping the distance what it is with Seattle is is good enough for sure. A clean sheet is exceptional. Um, to stay undefeated at home or stay undefeated across the league is is fantastic. It's very important psychologically. It's important for when for our minds. It's important when people play against us. Um, you know, at home, you I would love to uh, be more expansive in this stadium and and not only, you know winning comes first, trying to get three points, and we we try to do that tonight, but also do it in a style that people we want to hear the crowd more, and we want them to be uh, we want to get to 21,000 uh, every night here, and to do that soccer that excites and and people want to jump out the seats for. Um, we're, there's times where you go into games where you, you have to keep the, the dream alive and, and grab points and tonight we wanted three, we grabbed one, it's a huge success, it's a, it's a one closer um, to getting where we need to get to and, and there'll be other nights where the entertainment will be there and the soccer and, and, and more free flowing soccer will be there. Tonight was never going to be that night and, and the fact that the players took that on, committed to it, embraced it because it can be tough mentally, just shows that they're here for the team. They're here for the team first and they've got great heart and, and that's probably more um, satisfying than, than any result when you see every player and every staff member, top to bottom, give everything to the team to help the team. It's, um, it's cool. Coach, as the week went on and it became more apparent that Jessica Fishlock might play, did your preparation for this game change at all? No. I mean, I, I have no idea on her physical uh, her injury and her rehab. The fact that she got 30, she was always going to play uh, 90 tonight. I mean, unless she physically couldn't. But her mindset is is unbelievable. I've seen her I've seen her go down and think there's, it's impossible for her to get back onto the pitch, and she's back on the pitch. And I speak to Laura and say, how does she does it? And I don't think she knows. You know, she's she's a great athlete. Um, so, it, And it's not just, you know, Jess Fishlock is, is integral to... Seattle and we found that out but there was a, so much talent there for them and they're attacking midfield and they're attacking front three um, you know I'm sure they'll be disappointed and we're, we're pleased that we managed to keep them quiet.